Good day, students, and welcome to Mathematics for Primary 6. This is Teacher Jen, and today we will learn about relationship between fractions and decimals. Let's begin. Fractions and decimals are both ways of showing parts of a whole. There are just two ways to represent numbers. For fractions, it has numerator and denominator, while in decimals, the whole number part and fractional part are connected through a decimal point. Let's take a look. This is a whole blueberry cheesecake from James. He divided it equally at home for eight slices. In school, he gave his three friends his blueberry cheesecake. To represent it in fraction, that is three eighths. Three slices for his friends out of eight slices he equally divided at home. To easily represent fraction, we use decimal. For instance, talking about price, going to any grocery store, you will notice that the prices of goods are not in a whole number, but most of the time it is with a decimal point, just like these. So fraction and decimal can both express the same value of a number in a different ways. For example, 85 over 100. We can express it as 0 0.85 in decimal. How did we do that? Simple. We just divide 85 to 100 like this. Let's have more example. This one right here is a 10 by 100 square that looks a Rubik's cube. To show it in fraction, that would be 8 over 1,000, or 8 thousandths. So 8 represents the shaded part out of 1,000 squares. Now to express it in decimal, that would be 0 0.008. How? Decimals has special fractions with certain multiples of 10 in denominator. So, if your fraction is 8 over 10, that would be 0 0.8. If it's 8 over 100, that is 0 0.08. And if it's 8 over 1000, that is 0 0.008. The same with the previous example. Easy, right? Let's have more. Convert 3 eighths to a decimal. First, begin the long division. Next, add decimals and zeros as needed. Then, make sure all numbers are aligned. So, 3 eighths is equal to 375 thousandths. What if we have a mixed number fraction? Good question. Make it improper by multiplying the whole number 5 by its denominator 8, then add the numerator 1. So, you will have 41 over 8. It's time to express in decimal. Remember, first thing you need to do is begin the long division. Next, add decimals and zeros as needed. Then, make sure all numbers are aligned. 41 over 8 is equal to 5 and 125 thousandths. Now it's your turn. Convert 7 over 25 to a decimal. Make sure to remember the steps. Voila! 7 over 25 is equal to 28 hundredths. Let's try another one. 
convert 5 and 19 over 20 along with the music. When it stops, I'll reveal the answer. Now this is the answer. Good job everyone! Finally, we were able to unlock the knowledge about the relationship between fractions and decimals. And make sure to remember these steps. Until next time!